Uh, so I recently pulled out one of my small Arduinos that I had and realized that it needed a bootloader on it. Uh, I've never done a, a bootloader reflash on an Arduino, so this was a perfect opportunity. Uh, we're going to use an Arduino Uno that's working in order to flash the bootloader in, on an Arduino Mini uh, Pro uh, that needs a bootloader on it. You could do this with any two Arduinos. It's the least expensive way to flash a bootloader. Everything else requires fancy hardware specific options, but we can do it with two Arduinos. We're going to use the computer. I've got my laptop here. We've got a working Arduino Uno that we're going to use. I've got an Arduino Mini Pro here that needs the bootloader. Uh, that came in a grab bag box from SparkFun and had a little solder bridge that I repaired and that's why we need to flash a bootloader on it. Uh, I've got a jumper here so that we can make some connections from the, the Mini to the Uno and then a couple of USB cables there, uh, one for the Arduino Uno and then an FTDI cable that we'll use to flash sketches to the Mini. Uh, the FTDI cable is not required to do the bootloader, but we will need it in order to check and make sure that we successfully got our bootloader on there. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our Arduino Uno, which is going to be our programmer, wired up. So to do that, we're going to use four of the GPIO pins, uh, ground, and then 3.3 volts. So the four GPIO pins that we're going to use are pin 10, it's going to be our reset, pin 11, 12, and 13, we'll get all those in there, again 10, 11, 12, and 13, uh, 10 is going to be our reset, and 11, 12, and 13 are going to be our data lines. And then we're going to go ahead and hook up ground. Got one there. And then we're going to hook up 3.3 volts. Be careful, make sure you get your 3.3 volts and uh, not 5 volts if your target device, the one that you're putting the bootloader on, is 3.3 and you put 5 on there, it won't end well. So we've got our jumpers on there. We'll go ahead and bring in our target device. You can see I soldered a header on here in order to make this a little easier. This header isn't even actually soldered. I just did that to level out the board and make sure that if I want to solder headers on there, they're um, lined up. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and hook up uh, pins 11, 12, and 13 which go pin to pin on 11, 12, and 13 of the target or of the programmer. And then pin 10 on the programmer goes to the reset pin on our target device. And then we'll hook up our 3.3 in order to power it, which is next to next to reset there. These can get a little tricky. Get reset back in there, and then we'll get our ground on there. Okay. So, and that's all there is to wire up. 11 to 11, 12 to 12, 13 to 13, pin 10, our reset, this gray wire here. That's going to go over to the reset pin. Then we've got ground, our white wire comes over to ground. And we've got 3.3 volts on the purple there. It's going to come over to VCC. Now, you can use this header down here. Uh, this has the, the uh, master in, slave out, master out, slave in, uh, reset, and VCC and ground on it um, so you can use that they they are connected to these pins um, here and here 
and the reason I went with these ones over this header is because then I could just use these um, simple jumper wires uh, that were male uh, so I could go mail to mail. Otherwise, I would have had to come up with some sort of an adapter to get it on there. So, um, but but these pins are are physically connected to these pins here and here. So there's no reason you can't use those uh, on on the Uno. That is specific to the Uno. So you get everything wired up just like it is here, um, and then we'll go over to the computer for the rest of it. So we open up the Arduino uh, IDE. And what we're going to do first is we need to go in and select the information on the programmer that you're using. So we'll go over and that's an Arduino Uno. So we'll go and select the Uno. And then we need to make sure that we have the right port selected, which is ACM0. And then what we're going to do is load up the sketch from the examples. Go to File, Examples, and then down towards the bottom you see we've got Arduino ISP. So we have that sketch selected. So now we're going to upload that sketch to our Arduino Uno. So that took its code and it's good there. So now the Uno has a program in it that is capable of programming the firmware in another Arduino device. So now what we need to do is we need to make the selection f for the device that we are programming. So we'll go back into tools and we select the board and we're going to go with Arduino Pro or Pro Mini because that's what we have here and then on those boards there's another selection to make you have to select the voltage and the clock speed you can see there's four options this board happens to be a 3.3 volt at 8 megahertz and then uh, our port will stay the same because that's the the uh, programmer target we select programmer and we want programmer Arduino as ISP we loaded our sketch for that and then we go to burn bootloader so now you can see uh, we've got a program in here it looks like maybe that bootloader automatically blinks the LED or has the blink sketch uh, built into it um, but looks like we're we're all set uh, so now we we can use this uh, microcontroller and uh, just to go ahead and verify that we will disconnect our wiring I guess we should get the power off of there we're gonna get our Uno out of the picture uh, for these minis you do have to have um, a FTDI chip adapter uh, like this one here this is for communication since we don't have the USB controller uh, you can see it does have a, a switch on this particular model that's to select between 3.3 and 5 volt line so you want to be careful make sure that you uh, get that set correctly this is at 3.3 volts and then you want to make sure your pins line up uh, so we've got ground CTS uh, BCC transmit receive so we'll go ahead and hook that guy up there you can do it backwards so be careful disconnect the USB or other device uh, you can see right away we powered on and we're still running so that's good so now we are going to be on a different port because that was uh, it's a different adapter we need to go select our port we got USB 0 
because this is a USB. Uh, we still got our Pro or Pro Mini selected. You can see that in the bottom right corner there. We'll double check. We still have our Atmega 328P at 3.3 volts, 8 megahertz selected, so we're good there. So let's go ahead and select a sketch. We'll go to the example. We'll go to Blinky. Opens up a new window for us. You can see in the bottom right, we're on the right port. We have the right device selected, right frequency. We've got our program. We'll go ahead and upload our program. Uh, you can see in the bottom there that we were able to program and Blinky is flashing. So we took what was a dead uh, microcontroller that we got in a grab bag box and made it alive. Do a minor rework on the solder and spend a few minutes learning how to bootload the Arduino and we've got a working microcontroller. So that feels really good when you're able to do that, bring something back that way. Getting the bootloader loaded really wasn't too hard. Uh, it did take me a few tries. Uh, I had my wiring wrong uh, the first time and kind of had to keep playing with it a little bit. wasn't real comfortable. Uh, but I definitely feel better about it now and think going forward it'll, it'll be good. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and subscribe. Thanks again.